Hey guys, welcome back to the Harper's Homestead. We're doing a little short video today on some projects we got coming up. We're we'll getting some chickens uh, in about a month. So we want to be ready for them. When we spin around here, I'll show you where we're going to put the coop. And we're going to do some poultry net around it. And I'll kind of show you guys where that's going to go. And the reason we're going to do it that way is so we can kind of move the poultry net around the coop, giving them a different area to free range and, uh, um, you know, just to scratch and go after the worms and insects. Because back here we got a lot of ticks and worms and stuff. And, and some weeds and grass and stuff. It's just a good area for them to do their chicken thing in. So let me show you guys. So right here we've kind of cleared out an area where we're going to put the actual coop. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of area back here where they can just, there's quite a bit back here behind me too, where they'll be able to free range and walk around. A lot of area to scratch and uh, a lot of leaves to dig in. So that's one of the projects we got going on. We're going to be doing the chicken coop soon and we're going to document that pretty well and show you guys um, you know, how we build it and what we do. We've never built a chicken coop before so this should be interesting. And like we've said in the beginning, we are completely green. We are as green as it gets. We don't know anything about gardening. We've never gardened. We've never gardened. We've never gardened. This is all new. We're excited about it. We're starting to already learn some stuff. So I'll take you over there and show you. All right, guys, we're over here by the garden area. It's pretty small now. I'm sure a lot of you probably laugh. That's a garden? Well, it's we got to start somewhere. So, But I feel it's probably best I let the boss talk about the garden. So here she is. Hi there, thanks for joining us in the garden. I wanted to show you what we've got going on so far. So far we just have a few different vegetables started and we've started each vegetable in a separate pot and once they the seeds start growing then we're going to separate them into other pots and we're going to try to at least double the amount of barrels that we have here. And we chose to do barrels because the dirt in this area is really sandy, it's not very nutrient rich or good for growing so we're going to keep them in either barrels or in raised beds what we have started here is some rosemary. This one is doing pretty good. It's pretty self-sufficient, doing well all on its own. And it smells awesome. It smells awesome. Works great for flavoring our food. Next pot we have some tomatoes. And I basically just filled the pot with seeds and you see them starting to come up. Once they start to grow into bigger plants then we're going to separate them into different pots. Okay, so in this pot we have bell peppers. Um, I'm not sure if this is a bell pepper that's coming up here, but we do have some other seeds that are starting to sprout here. Same thing, once they start to get big, then we're going to separate them into other barrels. In the next pot we have onions, and these are doing pretty well. I don't know if I'll ever separate them or not, but for now they're doing well. And so. so in this pot we have carrots. These are certainly not fast growing carrots, like the prank that my husband pulled on my daughter. They do not grow fast, but they are starting to sprout. Um, she's excited about these once they actually do start to grow, but they're not fast growing. Because she loves carrots. Yes. And then in this planter we have cucumbers, or as my husband says, pickles. Those seem to be doing good. Yeah, they're doing really well. And again, I don't know if they'll need to be separated or not, but we're going to try them like this and see what happens. Thanks for joining me in my tiny little garden. I'm going to be adding more to it. I promise this isn't going to be it. So as I do, as I start to grow new vegetables and plants and try new things, I will definitely post more videos, and keep you updated, and show you what's growing. All right. I hope you got some of that garden news. She is so much of a better speaker than me. So we're going to have to try to get her on camera more often because she sounds way better than this homie. So some other things I've been doing, you guys might have seen, me uh, doing some tiki hut stuff and around our little outdoor kitchen bar area and uh, sorry we didn't post that build that was kind of before YouTube for us um, I can do some shots and and, and put some um, material lists and drawings if anybody's interested in how I built it but I've been coating the bar with a polyurethane here today and I'll show you guys a little bit of that how it's turning out Of 
course we're fighting the pollen that keeps falling on it so every between every coat I have to wipe it down very carefully and then reapply quickly to avoid getting a bunch of yellow dust on it so everything thinks it's the spring has sprung and in some days I think it's sprung and then it goes right back to being winter so we're in a mix of a season change right now but yeah we're making it happen and we're doing it so thank you guys for watching and we'll post videos as we make them see ya.